Welcome to the first Heart and Crafts video. So over the next five weeks we're going to be learning how to make a little marionette and this week we're going to be starting with simple techniques just showing you how to make the body. Okay, okay so the materials that we need are really basic and um, we just need tape, so sellotape, masking tape, um, two pens, two different colour markers, um, some styrofoam balls here for the head uh, a little tool for curling the wire but it's not necessary you can do it with your hands but it's it's very handy um, a skewer stick or a knitting needle and some newspaper and wire so the body is really basic so the first step is to do a drawing of your character. So if you just decide what height you'd like it to be, this is going to be to scale. So, so then we break down the limbs into 14 pieces altogether. The way each limb is made is really simple. We just roll up a wire inside the newspaper. So I'll just show you how to do that. So we just get a piece of newspaper and marker and just measure the, the size of the limb that you'd like to begin with so we'll go with the leg first I'll come over here So we just grab a scissors and if you need an adult to help you with this part, maybe you can find one in your home. Now, so we just get a piece of wire and measure it again on the limb that we're doing. So just keep about an inch or an inch and a half of wire either side of the limb because we'll be looping that to attach it to the next part of the leg. So now we just need a little bit of tape. Just try and keep the wire in the middle. Then we just start rolling it up, try and keep the paper nice and tight. Okay, so when you're happy with the, the width of the limb, which we'll be adding clothes onto anyway, you can just cut it here. You could keep going more if you'd like it to be more um, thicker. I'm just going to cut this. of tape so now we have the tie of our character so if you'd like to if you like to paint directly onto the the paper body then you need to use masking tape over the cellar tape because the paint won't stick to the cell tip. So you can just cover the limb and the ends. Now we just get a little tool for twirling the wire. Just 
So we're just making a little loop here and then we'll attach this to the next limb and each limb will have a piece of wire going through it with a loop on the ends. Just tuck the end of the wire in there a little bit. Now, so you have one limb done. So you just repeat the same process for each limb and the feet and the hands, we're going to be making them out of clay and the head. The character moves better when it has heavier arms and, and feet. And so, yeah, we just continue making these little sausages of newspaper and wire with a loop on the end of every one. And now the body is a little bit different. So, for the body, Oops. we need to just measure across here, so the shoulders. We make this piece, but we don't actually need any wire inside this one. It's the only one that doesn't need wire. And for this piece, we just roll up a ball of newspaper into the shape of the body that you would like. So this one has a little belly on it. And then we need some wire to attach the arms and the legs to. So we just make two more here. And we're just going to um, tape this, these, and the belly all together. Now, when that's taped up, we need to add this piece. For this piece, we need to attach the neck to it. So we'll just get a small bit of wire again and pop it around the middle. The little tool is handy here again, if you have one. You can just twist and try to keep it in the middle if you can. Roughly in the middle. Snip off the end there. And we'll just make a little loop. Okay, now we've got a little loop there for the neck. So now we can attach that to the rest of the torso with some more tape.
Now at this stage you can just bend out those two pieces of wire at the ends because that's where we're going to be attaching the arms. So now we're just going to attach the legs and the arms to the torso. Just need a little bit more wire. Maybe about three inches of wire. Just loop that there and get a little twisting tool again. So just tie a little knot and make sure it's not too tight because you need movement. You need the arm to be able to move. Just trim the ends of the wire. So you can just repeat that process for the other arms and for the legs. Okay, so now once we have the limbs all attached, we should have something like this, the body. And now the next step is the head. So if you get a styrofoam ball, you can also use newspaper, but the styrofoam ball is really handy. Um, so what we need is to put the skewer stick through, just pierce through the styrofoam ball and try to keep it in the center. So once we've made a hole through that, we can get some a piece of wire. You should have about th three inches either end of the ball. We'll just put that through. So once we have it through, we need to make a loop on either end to attach to the neck and also for the string for the head. So we'll get our little twisting tool again and make a little loop on the top and twist the ex excess wire around. repeat the process here. And now we're going to attach the head. in the same way that we joined the other limbs together. So about two or three inches of wire and just join the two loops. Give it a little tool again. And make sure you don't twist this too tight so the neck can move. Trim the excess. Now the next step is the hands and the feet. So, so this is the last material that we need. I forgot to mention it at the beginning. It's a DAS modeling clay. So it's air drying. You don't need to put it in the oven to dry or anything. And it takes a couple of days for the feet or the hands or the face to dry. So for this character, I've drawn a pair of boots. So that's what I'm going to do.
you could make a pair of shoes or maybe even you might want to have your character barefoot. Yeah, there's one boot, so I'll just make a second one. really simple, just an L shape. Now, once you're happy with them, we'll just get some wire, about four inches or five, five inches even. Wire. Make a little loop that we're going to twist. So we're just going to push the wire down into the boot. And close up the little space that's been made. Now You can attach it to the leg. So we need a little tool again. Just to make a little loop. Just twist that. Put the excess wire. Very careful. So we just repeat the process then of attaching the other foot. Now we just let those feet dry for a couple of days. You'll know it's dry when it starts turning bright white. It should be about three or four days. You can keep it somewhere uh, warm and dry. So now for the hands, we're just going to repeat that process. So we get a small bit of clay. Roll up a little ball. Good to keep looking back at your picture that you drew. Mm. Make all the fingers. Just smoothing out any lines in case it, it could crack there if you don't. Yeah, so you just need a little piece of wire again, maybe about five inches. Just re repeat what we did for the feet. Twist a little piece of wire, just push it into the hand, and then smooth it over the top where the wire went in. Make sure it doesn't come out. And now we we'll make a loop on the top of the hand.
you just cut the end of the wire off my hand and make sure you seal up the bag when you're not using it because it can dry up very quickly That will just pop some wire into the hand and then attach it to the end. Make a loop again. So there you have the beginning of your marionette. So yeah, I'd say about three or four days the hands and the feet will be dry. So if you just leave it somewhere nice and dry and warm. Now next week we will be making the face. So we'll, we'll begin with some plasticine. If you have any colored plasticine, and then when we're happy with the, the face that we make, we can make it out of this clay if you like, or just keep the plastic in your face. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.